Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we beat this game! Horribly! Uh, the only survivors of this whole ordeal were Lex, Sarah, and Rose. Lucy could have also survived had I not been tricked by the sirens. Okay, so... Remember that snowy valley that I wound up in that was from the game's prequel, Whispers in the Woods? Well, at the end of the valley, we saw this random little girl. Uh, for context, this game has a ghost character leading us around. This game's prequel, Whispers in the Woods, also had a ghost guiding us around. And it was that random little girl. Or at least, that's what I thought. Because, apparently, that was just a siren in disguise. The siren was casting an illusion that made me think there was some sort of connection between this game and Whispers in the Woods, and so I wound up pressing onward to find out what that connection was, only to allow the siren to get at Lucy and eat her. This came after the ghost slave told me not to believe everything I saw. Well, I believed what I saw, and somebody died for it. So that actually makes me wonder, is it possible to get through this game with more survivors? In fact, could I perhaps save everyone? So here I am doing a second run, Partly to find out what the other decision branches would result in, but now I also think that perhaps with the right decisions, I can save everyone. Normally I wouldn't do a second run like this, but this game is short enough that I feel like I can get away with it, and the decision branches are supposedly, as far as I can tell, going to be quite drastic from each other. Let's bring into context what is happening right now. This is right at the start of the game. We are all shipwrecked. All the survivors of the shipwreck are still alive. And we have rested here during the night. I just found Deborah's room thanks to the slave ghost, who, by the way, we now know is the goddess Hera. And Deborah, who is one of the sirens but turned good, has told us that this island used to be a place where they traded slaves and was we were told to go to the library to learn more information and now Sarah here one of the survivors just found a secret passageway and has invited us to go explore it now on my first run I actually went along with Sarah and we wound up in the library anyway however this time I'm going to head to the library on my own to see what happens differently in this situation. I'm sorry, but I'm going to explore the island on my own for now. Oh. Well, good luck, Lex. Thanks. Just in case this winds up with Sarah dying, I've got another save file sitting after exploring the secret passage with her to load up if I need to. For now, let's see what happens if we go at it alone. What was that room again? Was that my room? I think that was my room. Let me double check though. I haven't actually gone into here from this direction. No, this is the dining room. Oh yeah, we have been here. No need to be here right now. Wild Land is asking what year this game released in. I forget. I want to say it was around 2009. Oh, so hello there, Strike Back. Okay, let's me save here, just in case something happens along the way. Uh, 
save on this file, this is the file that was used to beat the game, and we don't need it anymore. It's going to be interesting going through this game now knowing all of the secrets. Victoria and Deborah are both sirens. And that good slave is the goddess Hera. Durham Colony. Is this anything, by the way? This large stone object seems out of place. Huh, apparently it is a thing. Not sure what thing, but it's a thing. Probably not actually important. Hmm, hold on a sec. Someone is coming this way. Okay, so the reason I need to turn back and come back to this thing is because before the stream, I wanted to make sure that there was, in fact, going to be something different happening if I came this way. I don't know what it is yet, I just know that this was here. So apparently the choke point that was provided to trigger this cutscene, um, it needs to be more choky so that you can't pass it. I quickly hide in the tall grass. Oh, it's these guys. Again, it's in black and white. I wonder why. Well, mate, we get to learn a little bit more about these guys. You know, if it turns out that I can save everybody except these two, I would be okay with that. Doesn't look like anyone is around. Now, where is my money? It... It went down with a ship. His face is dripping with sweat as he nervously grips a small black bag. What? But the drugs are right here. Mark grabs the bag out of Jake's hands and looks inside. You fool! They are worthless! What? Mark pulls out two soaked bags. You're dead. Wait! Wait! Mark pulls out a knife from his back pocket. The, there must be some valuable stuff in that woman's mansion. We could take it and leave as soon as the ship arrives. Mark lowers the knife slightly as if he is wondering to just kill him or spare him. Well, we know they were there, both of them, later to threaten us, so... I guess if he were dead, I would have a hard time making off with any valuables. Let's get back to the mansion. But let it be clear... Betray me, and you will die. I better keep an eye on those two when I get back. So we had a bit of new story there. It makes me somewhat concerned that there are choke points for cutscenes and teleportations to other maps that are missable like that. Can this be interacted with now, at this point in the game? I just saw a little marker saying that I could interact with it there. No. However, there's the matter of this cave. I saw this cave multiple times, but didn't think I could reach it. But while going through 
the other option if I went with Sarah? I discovered that this cave can, in fact, be entered. So, as long as we're here... Let's see what I missed. Apparently not something important. Who knows, though? Maybe there might be something important here. Maybe more puzzles? Or bones? Who dat? A skeleton lies in the corner of the cavern. The rib cage has been torn apart. Near the bones lies a torn book. I write this not knowing if anyone will ever read this. Our ship has started to sink near an uncharted island. We had managed to get ashore, but I regret drowning in the ocean. Yeah, I would regret that too. My crew was killed one by one by a mysterious force in the fog. We tried to make a last stand in the ruins of some old buildings. But I ended up being the last one alive. I fear it will come for me at any time. I have hidden myself in this cave. I just pray that... It ends there. A few red stains cover the rest of the pages. Well, that didn't work out for them. Oh gosh, please don't tell me it's going to repeat that whole thing again. Gosh dang it. I was right though, this isn't really important. It's just a little bit of lore, foreshadowing, kind of hints that stuff is going to be happening here. Why online is wondering why I talked to him again. Um... I don't know, just in case something different happened. I just heard somebody else running through here. I don't know how well that was audible. I will mention that for the previous stream and now, I did bump up the volume some. Considering how important sound is in this game, I decided it wouldn't hurt to make the game a little bit louder in the stream. Um... Which way is out? Is there gonna be a brick wall somewhere, perhaps? Am I stuck in here? Uh, surely not. Here I am, rubbing the walls. And also getting trapped on the corners of the walls because hitboxes. Seriously? Am I really stuck in here? No. Well, let me go ahead and... I, I gotta check the editor on this one. Okay, so here we are at Silent Cave. What is this right here? Is this where the sound effects came from? You touch it, and it plays staircase. So yeah, that's the... That's what it is. Now, question is, how do I get out of here? Here's the bones. Do they do anything different? 
No, it's just lore. It doesn't actually trigger anything. Let's zoom out. Just in case there's like a secret wall somewhere. I mean, there's this section over here. This is probably where the actual cave entrance is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that Von Wert actually forgot to make a way out of this cave. Because there is nothing here that will take us out. I mean, yes, this section where the actual exit is over here, but they're not connected at all. So, that's unfortunate. Uh, you know, this game seemed so well made at, mer at first. Why on land is asking how this game was ta- uh, or blah. Yeah. How was this game play tested? They probably thought like me, anybody who tested this game, thought that this cave couldn't be reached since it was down here in the water, maybe thought it was scenery. Okay, so that doesn't open up until the plot wants us to. Oh right, we were heading towards the library. You know, it's kind of funny. I have had concerns about trying to, like, backtrack to places because I might break something. Yeah, we've already proven that to be the case. It's so weird how different I am with my playthroughs nowadays. When I was playing Whispers in the Woods, I took pride in breaking that game. I purposely found my way on top of a mountain that I was not supposed to. Whereas in this game, in this playthrough, I tried to avoid winding up on top of a mountain, and I wound up there anyway. Wasn't that Sarah's manager? It looked like he went into that building to the left. Once again, despite following him and him here, it doesn't work out. Nothing here. So Warrior Land is asking why I don't try to break games as much as possible. It was kind of my thing. Uh, it was not entirely appreciated in some cases. We'll just leave it at that. It's just something that I don't do anymore because now I kind of feel bad when I do it. Purposely making a game look worse. Besides, I'm clearly good enough to do this breaking games without trying. This must be the library that Deborah told me about. I start searching the many rows of books for any clues about this island's past. For being about 400 years old, the books seem to be in excellent condition. Search, search, search. One of the books fell onto the floor. I'm betting Hera is responsible for that book falling. Hmm, the title is Population Record of Durham Colony. I start to scan through its pages. This is weird. It tracks the births and deaths of the citizens as well as the many deaths of the black slaves due to mining accidents. 
But in the year 1622, it starts listing people as missing. The number starts out small, but suddenly grows more and more each month. Nearly the entire island is reported as missing. I wonder what it could mean. Hmm? I can feel a slight breeze blowing from the cracks of the bookshelf. I glance in the space where the book fell and discover a brass handle. The bookshelf moves away, revealing a secret passage. I use my lighter to light an old oil lamp and enter the darkness. Are we going to go through this passage way backwards? Or is this different? This is different. Well, now I'm definitely glad that I'm going through these other branches. So who was that? Somebody saw us and ran away, and they were too far in the darkness for me to really tell who it was. Okay, that's a nice touch, making a sound as though they went through this door. Um, sure enough, we got different riddles. I'm definitely a little disappointed that this game still relies heavily on riddles. Nice that there were a couple of other puzzle types, but hmm. So then, what is that which goes with a carriage, comes with a carriage, is of no use to a carriage, and yet the carriage cannot go without it? Um, first thought is horse. However, noise. Noise. Carriages make noise. Yay! It stands one leg with its heart in its head. What? It stands on one leg? We'll go with that. With its heart in its head. Umbrella, sword, lamp, and cabbage. Its heart is on its head. I think it's an umbrella. Because in the head we have that little button that makes it open up. Kind of like a heart, I guess. Let me go with Umbrella. Nope. My logic was sound. And so was my screaming. Well, at least we don't have to repeat these. Uh, maybe it's a lamp then. Darn it! Well, there's a head of cabbage. I don't see how it necessarily stands on one leg. But apparently, that's the solution. It's been around for millions of years, but it's no more than a month old. What is it? I would assume the moon says it takes a month in order to go around, and there's like a new moon. Okay, so, hmm, I thought something might happen as I passed through that.
C point. Okay, well, while I am saving here, we are going to go into our first episode break of today's stream. Tell you what, this first branch is definitely taking longer than expected. Granted, that's partly because of game-breaking glitches. Uh, hopefully that is the end of those. Be right back. <laughs> 